That's me, Kalkar, Greek god. The all-powerful and invulnerable last son of Zeus and Hera. Sticks and stones do not, in fact, break my bones. Two years ago, my deranged Uncle Hades killed a lot of people I cared about. My brother, my first love Scarlet, and finally, the Lord of the Seas Poseidon, who sacrificed himself for me. Hermes loaned me the Orb of Tartarus to imprison Hades. The Orb of Tartarus is the spherical prison designed to hold my monstrous grandparents, Kronos and Gaia. They are the gods famous for eating their children. I became King of Olympus and promoted Hermes to the Lord of the Seas. Cal, you are the Pablo. It's the title for the Greek chair of the WGC, the World Gods Council. The first rule of the WGC is do not create gods. Hermes created mermaids. Yahweh was pissed. Yahweh is going to be a lot more pissed when he finds out I created an actual god. I resurrected Poseidon. Something else happened. Oh yeah, I found out I'm going to be a dad. Last night was a big deal. And now, a god named Pablo. Steady and calm. That's a good rain. Yeah. You're gonna need it for the meeting. This meeting, can I call you my baby mama now? <sighs> sure, but if you do, I'm gonna decapitate your head and use it as a soccer ball. Thank you. You sacrificed yourself for me even though I was a total dick to you. I am sorry for being a total dick. You deserve better. You were the father I needed. I missed you. Sir, I think we're running late. Uh, how much of that did you hear? None of the stuff about missing. Good. Good. Council time? So what is the worst punishment the council ever gave my father? Your father, before he pathetically abandoned his crown as the King of Olympus, was never formally punished by the World Gods Council. Well, like my chances, Zeus was a bit of a son of a bitch. I cannot speak to Gaia's bitchiness, but she was spoken of as the deadliest of foes. Let's take this for a second. Grandpa Kronos ate all of his kids. There is no way that Gaia is getting the deadliest designation from me. Respectfully, sir, misogyny has made its way into Greek mythology. She was the mother of Earth. She's probably the greatest hippie the world will ever know. But I can create gods. Mortals are not allowed once the meeting is commenced. I know, Ned. We all know. Then please follow, follow protocol. <laughs> Netters. Why are you always wound so tightly? I am the only one who is charged with keeping the council a chaos-free zone. It is an immense responsibility, one that I do not take lightly. But I wish that you and your comrade would take more seriously, Mr. Christ. And it's Ned. And it's Ned. Madam, please leave. Mohammed couldn't make it. Again? You go to first rule of the council. Oh, really? Did I? Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite My sure. My apologies, Yahweh, but could I please question Pablo? No. It seems appropriate that I do the questioning here. It appears that you are letting your passion get the best of you. Dude, she's fine. Yahweh is the chairperson of the council. He should question the fuck kick. Pablo, how did you create a full god? Oh, now that would be telling. Give us an answer. Or I will have fucking door hammer your fucking sword off your fucking face. Excuse me, chairperson. Is deliberately antagonizing a rebellious boy god the best course of action? The council needs you to describe how you conjured a full god. I just believed I could. We are not interested in your vagaries or quips. No one has been able to conjure a full god apropos of nothing in over 2,000 years. Jesus, that's a long time. Your actions has potentially set a catastrophic precedent. Have faith. Poseidon was a god for millennia. I believe that each and every one of you is my friend. 
And I hope that you join me tonight to celebrate the return of Poseidon, king of the seas. Dad, he hit the restart button and resurrected his surrogate father. Wouldn't you like me to do that for you someday, maybe? No. Poseidon helped create a sword that led to his own undoing. Any one of us foolish enough to do that deserves their fate. Hmm. I haven't drunk that much in at least three years. There's a reason for that. Do you want gum? Sure. So what's it like to operate naked? Breezy. Is this your first time chewing bubble gum? Yeah, but it seemed like something normal people would do after a night of drinking. Are you saying I'm normal? You are not normal. Trust me, I would know. Thanks. We need to teach you how to blow a bubble, zombie god. But you have to promise that you're not gonna use any superpowers to blow like a gigantic huge bubble. I promise. You're not a promise breaker? Do you have my word? <laughs> you kept your promise. I always do. You should probably check on Hermes. Yes, that is what we should be doing. Um, can I apparate us there? I haven't apparated with someone else since the rebirth. Yeah, I'll be your first. That way you'll always remember me. We're close-ish. Let me try again. No, you know, we're, we're right here. We might as well just open the door. <coughs> Shh. I am not talking to you two. I'm just gonna hang out here with the only two things that love me. This pineapple and that orb. Uh, Hermes, I can make waffles. I would like waffles. Have you ever had waffles before? No. You're ridiculous. I am the most powerful god on the planet. I stood up to Yahweh, the super-powered eye to super-powered eye. Let's celebrate with cake. Don't worry, I got you a slice. They say cake is the perfect cure for hangovers. Who are they? I am they. I am he. I am all. I am the mostest omnipotentist. Sir, you remember. I listen when you talk. Most of the time. Are you ready? I mean, you were just demoted by your little brother. He literally resurrected a dead god to replace you. So, going back to the white room. Don't think I'm going back to the white room. Come on, Hermes. Where else is Cal gonna put you? He's the most powerful entity in existence. Pineapple empty. Fixed it for you. You know, I helped him beat Hades. He did, and you were a badass. No, not a badass. Look, I know what this is about. You're just trying to get me to destroy you again. Just saying, it is absurd that your little brother is the most powerful being the world has ever known, and he made you a glorified bouncer. Destroying the orb will make you his equal. All the Greek gods will be equal. Oh, yeah. People don't eat waffles like that. No, I'm not people. Really? You're leaving the gods layer on the table? Hell left it here. <laughs> Why are you playing with the orb? Well, you see, I think we can all agree the cow is just a little too powerful right now. So, I'm gonna take care of that nonsense. Real quick! I still don't understand though why anybody would want triple berry cake. I mean, if you're gonna go in that direction of flavor, why not just get a sorbet if you're gonna deal in that level of fruit deliciousness? I'm just saying. Thank you, sir. It is an unexpected gesture. Mm -hmm. Fruit deliciousness is not a word. Yes, it is. I said it is. Miriam Webster ain't got nothing on me.
the only one of Zeus's children I thought could rule. So I rose, created the God Slayer, forced Zeus's hand, did some killing, and forced yours. Sebastian Eros was a lame pretender. Can you imagine Cupid trying to rule the world? Do you ever shut the fuck up? Come on, I'm not expecting you to rant for six minutes about how Magnolia makes a better cupcake than Springs. Psychopath. You love us. You love all of us, cow. Killed me when you had the chance. I know. I am going to kill you, but not yet. I have to kill Gaia first. If you see her, kill her. Or run. Don't let her catch you alive. Do you understand? Yes. <gasps> Let me go. 